you how long do you work there then what's your next job or what do you uh, I worked there for like a, two years and then I would see client on my own because I save like I have regulars yeah and I would see client on my own that's how I started OnlyFans because one of my client told me um, to create an online website to sell like my naked mm -hmm. photos, yeah. my sex tape. Um, basically, that's how I started like online stuff. And is it a turn on for you? No people will be jacking off to you having sex. Um, no, I wasn't thinking that way. I was just like, oh my god, people are paying money to buy my sex tape and naked photos. I was just happy about that. But now, does it turn you on knowing that? It turns me on when I know they watching my video and come for me, yes. Uh, your first up on OnlyFans, is strictly solos or the boy girls, BJs? So before OnlyFans, I was on Patreon. I don't know if you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. That Patreon, is. yeah. So I did my first uh, sex tape on Patreon when they were strictly like allowed sex sexual yeah, right. content so my first sex tape was on patreon and when they started banning patreon like like patreon started banning sex sexual content i moved on to only fans so uh before that i was already doing boy girl videos yeah you were I was, yeah. Is that with his boyfriends or is that? No, it's just my clients. I will film with them. <laughs> and that would just be sex or would it be BJs? Be BJs, sex, having fun, yeah. Just play around. <laughs> uh, is any of that stuff available now? I mean, you still have it? Have you posted it on your OnlyFans or anything? I still have those content on my phone in my Dropbox folder but i'm not using it anymore because that's the reason i got banned on OnlyFans. was because those people doesn't i don't have the paperwork oh okay. i don't have so, their paperwork to prove that they're over 18. Gosh. so you want to be 2257s in your model race yeah i don't have those things so that's how it got my first only fan banned how would you meet these people find these people um, some are for regulars, some of they just like regulars friends and some from advertisement that I post online. <laughs> and you'd hit them up and say, hey, do you want to ban No, them? they help me, they, they, they reach out to me. And Email, what, yeah. What about, did you meet some people on social media or something? Um. Twitter or something? Like Instagram fans, yeah, I would fuck them, yeah. And they DM you and say, they hey, DM me. your babe, I'd like to bone you? <laughs> um, if the guy that started DM me saying, hey, I want to fuck shit out of you, I wouldn't reply them. It's more like, I like the guys that shy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like the guys that shy that they start. Oh, I would love to take you out. I oh, want to. You're so pretty. You're amazing. You're gorgeous. You're beautiful, and all that. No, I don't reply to those. I reply to those fun questions. It's like, oh, uh, let's go play golf together, because I like to play golf. You then are you the type of girl like a hit and run girl? What's a hit and run girl? You meet a girl, you have all the fun you want to have with them and then kind of just move on yeah yeah i am i guess i am you. like that good for you yeah how do you take the next step and get into adult work actual movies oh um shout out to michael maz from uh, vixen he's the director from vixen he reached out to me on twitter he said he wanted to shoot a video of me for a vixen at the beginning, I thought he was um, a scam. We scheduled a Zoom call, like time and everything, and I just didn't show because I thought he was a scam. Yeah, I mean, Vixen was a really big company, and all their stuff was so beautiful. I couldn't believe they reached out to me. Why? 
because I don't think I'm good or I don't think I'm beautiful. I don't think they would shoot me. And um, I didn't think I was good at sex or performance. So I thought it's a scam. But they scheduled the second Zoom and I attend that Zoom. So I was like, oh my God, this is real. And that's how I stepped into my first ever adult mainstream uh, porn shoot. And for you, when you go to do that first shoot, at what point does it hit you that I'm doing a porn film, like a real porn film? Um, the first shoot with, uh, with the Vixen. But I mean, you go to the set, you walk in, you get makeup and hair and all that stuff. You meet the actor, we'll call him Johnny for sake of discussion. Okay. <laughs> uh, Johnny, I'll be working with you today. And then at what point does it like, like, form your mind like, wait a minute, I'm shooting a real porn film for Vixen right now. Um, I think it's as soon as I walk in to the set. To the location because they have like a really big crew yeah. it's not like just camera guy directors it's really a big crew i think my first ever shoe with them was 15 people on set it got as soon as i walk in and see 15 people they all doing different things they're doing lightings they're getting ready they're doing paperwork they're doing this that the some of them are fixing cameras some of them are like making sure the sofa was in the right location i was like oh my god i can't do this i suck i can't do it i got so nervous like makeup artist was doing my makeup, my heart would just be 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 be. It was so quick the whole time. I was just so nervous. Your reaction the first time you see professional yeah. pictures by a vixen, uh -huh. when you look at them, what goes through your mind? The beautiful. <laughs> you do that scene, it goes well. Do you, do you then decide that you want to do more movies, or do you maybe take some time off and wait? Um. So my first shoe was Tushi Raw. <laughs> Um, I was so nervous, like after the shoe, I still don't think I was good after the first shoe, I don't think I was good, so I was, I went back to New York, that's where I used to live, so I went back to New York, I told my friends I shot this porn scene, I don't think I was good, because when my scene released, I go on to the website, all other videos they get like 9.6, 9.8, 9.2 is the worst one. I think I got 7.6. And then I tell my friends I can't do this. I don't think I'm good enough to do porn. Like nobody liked me. Nobody liked to watch me. Nobody liked to watch my porn. I was a little bit disappointed in myself. So I, I wasn't think I could continue to do this. This wasn't for me. That's what goes through my mind. What changes your mind? Um, um, what changed my mind is I think over time, now I'm thinking back, I'm not supposed to be good at the first video that I ever shot. Because that's just how I am. Like over time you learn things, yeah, you, you learn get experience. better. You fuck different guys and you learn different things from them. And you learn little tricks on how to make yourself come quicker, how to score, how to this, and better at ano now. So I'm not supposed to be good for my first video. Okay, yeah. good for you. Mm -hmm. Cause you mentioned earlier you like sex. Yeah. And in a good sex scene, a lot of it's performance and exaggeration. Yeah. Is that difficult for you instead of you just wanting to be natural? <laughs> instead of having to elevate everything? To be honest, I'm better at performing. Like I would remember in my head before I'm getting sex, like I need my face reaction. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. I feel good. Because yeah. before that, I would just like, oh, it feels yeah, good, yeah. but like it's more natural. But now I would like remember, oh, I feel good. I need to show to the camera that, oh, I feel good. At this point, how long have you been in the business? One year. What you expected, what you didn't expect, what you thought it would be, better or worse? I didn't expect I'll be the nominator for a new starlet. 
I still think I wasn't that good. Have you had anal sex before you got into the industry? I yeah, I was doing anal sex before I got into the industry. Remember the first time you did that? Um, first time I didn't know how to clean out. It was a little awkward. It wasn't feel good at the first time. It just feels weird for the first time. Um, but over time, I enjoy more. But I still like not a pro at anal sex. Yeah, but now I loved it because I know the proper way to clean out and to prep myself um, to enjoy. You prefer at this point vaginal sex or anal sex? Um, I prefer. I don't like. I like both. I like both. I can, like, if I'm having anal sex and I'm, I'm just fingering my pussy, like, I can calm up like that. Yes. And of course, when I have, like, se regular sex in my veg, I can calm, yeah. <laughs> uh, how much different are you than the person people see on camera? How much of this is an act? What do you mean? Uh, most people in entertainment, I mean, when you turn on a camera, they get all giddy and. <laughs> And then some people are just authentic. They're just themselves. Um, okay, so what people say to me is I'm goofy in like regular life without camera. But when as long as I know there's a camera, I get so nervous still nowadays. I get nervous and I don't know how to act. <laughs> it's a very good thing, trust me. Really? So before the camera, they even say anything before they turn on the camera. I was like jiggling, laughing, dancing, moving around. But like as soon as they turn on the camera and I know there is a camera, I'm like, oh, oh, my body just stiff. <laughs> I don't know where to go. You're not doing silly interviews like this and stuff. What do you like to do? Um, okay, so I like to travel. I like to eat different kind of food. Um, which is a shame that I didn't. I don't really go out because now I moved to LA. I think only time I I have only went out five times since I moved to here, to the restaurants. The rest time I'm just so busy shooting or, um, like a, I would take like do takeouts to eat at my home because I don't want to go out by myself. I feel like that's just scream for lonely. <laughs> Uh, you got me beat, but okay. Uh, tell me about your OnlyFans. Let's make you some money. Um, so I got deleted before, and now I just got a new OnlyFans page. Um, I'm working on to getting more fans to join my OnlyFans page, but um, I would say my own content is really creative. I try to do different things. Um, trying to make my fans happy. <laughs> do you do custom work? Um, I do, but not not much anymore because, um, like I get busy with shoots, so yeah. I just don't have the time to do custom video. Yeah. <laughs> Craziest request you got for a custom? Oh, uh, a guy tell me to take a shit. <laughs> okay. That was it? Yeah, isn't that crazy? They wanted me to film it. I don't know, I just couldn't accept that. Like, I feel like that's like uh, awkward. Uh, how often do you update your OnlyFans? Every day. Twice a day, two times a day, three times a oh, day? Oh, uh, four or five times a day. Um, I don't send out like five full videos. So I would do is send out pictures, send out little teas. Um, and then I would sell like I ha I sell new videos every week, so in this week I would just like repeat selling the video this week or one of the older videos from before, and then lastly I finish the day with little tease video. Yeah. And you mentioned you like to be creative with your videos. When you make your stuff. Do you shoot stuff you think will sell or stuff you want to do? Um, I shoot, well, I think about both. Um, like if I am really wanted to shoot this content, for example, there was a one time 
I really wanted to shoot this golf content. Okay. We made a tea time. Uh, yeah. We went on golf course. We were trying to be naughty, like yeah. shooting like little golf swing, cute golf swings, and with uh, like little teas and and go home That's to have a sex. Stuff. Yes, like that. But no sex in the golf cart or nothing? We were trying to, but we were kind of like really slow because we were, wanted to try to get a good stuff. Pictures and videos we were too slow. So the back of the car, another team, like back of us would like catch up to us. We feel like that's not really good things to do to have a sex while people are probably like far away they're watching. So that didn't happen, but I was really wanted to shoot that. It will, I will reshoot it some other time, but I made a tea time on Monday, so hopefully that will happen. <laughs> okay. Is there any place you want to have sex, like in public or anything? Yeah, golf course. <laughs> what are your social media handles? Um, my uh, Instagram is the real Nicole Doshi. My Twitter is at Nikodoshi. My OnlyFan at Nikodoshi. My many vests at Nikodoshi. How important did your career? For the social media? Yeah. Um, I would say pretty important because that's where you lead your fans to the fan page. Yeah, I would say very important. And do you have an agent people want to book you for work? Yeah. It's a Mali Mali models. What can you tell people about Mali models? Um, they're they're very good with their event. Once in a while, they get the model together and having fun shooting content, taking beautiful pictures, and they will prepare like little snacks for us and drinks. Um, they have a parties, um, and they get the best work in the industry, and they really like stand with you. They make sure you get the best uh, first priority, the best deal of yourself. Yeah, I would recommend to join Molly Matos, yeah. 2023 is right around the corner. Do you have any big goals for next year? Oh, <laughs> I wanted to just travel more. <laughs> okay. Travel more, eat more, just be happy and have more sex. Be the biggest slot ever. <laughs> we joked about that, but what does that mean to you? Big slot? Ever. Just be fun, be naughty, like fuck more people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have any celebrity crushes? Um, celebrity crush. Oh, I like, I like, um, uh, the, uh, what's his name? The, the Spider-Man. Peter Parker. What would you do to him if you could? I don't know. Fuck shit out of him. What could he do to you? He could he could tie me up with his spider wipes and just drill me and do anything he wanted to me. I don't know. He just had that nerdy look. I like nerdy guys. Could he blow a nice spider web all over your face? Oh, yes. Please, Peter Parker. If you're watching this, I'm here. I'm Nico Doshi. Come look for me. <laughs> Anything you want to say to all your fans? Um, you know what? Instead of buying a, go to Starbucks, buying a coffee every morning, you should join my OnlyFans and my content is definitely worth it. And it's only $3 a month. And the OnlyFans is? At OnlyFans.com slash Nicole Doshi. Thank you, Nicole.